Chairs at my new job have rollerblade wheels so we can roll quietly. Oh, come on now. You didn't put the rollerblade wheels on your Wathis chair so that you could roll around silently. You did it so you could take the chair to the local roller rink and so that somebody could stand on it and eventually fall down and break their skull. Don't lie to me. Hello and welcome back to Calvis. My name is Quite, and today we're going to be looking at some r slash mildly interesting, a subreddit dedicated to things that are, you know, just kind of neat, pretty pretty cool, everyday standard things they wouldn't, weren't expecting. Let's jump into it. Half of the hallway is under construction, and it looks really small. It, that, I don't know if that's exactly half. The part that's under construction looks significantly wider than the one on the left, but I mean, fair play. This feels like a shot out of an A24 film or something. I feel like I'm about to walk into some auteur cinema viewing. This hole in the wall showing the original wallpaper from 1885. So is like the wallpaper just in the rest of the room, but that's the only place you can see it? Or do they just keep the one chunk? Because I'm kind of fine with it either way, but I really want to stick my hand in there and see if it's like still covered in dust. I also want to get lead poisoning. That's the main thing. I'm I know it's wallpaper and not pain, okay? My math teacher has a stamp of his face that he uses on people's tests if they do well. 100, nice. And then it's just that. I don't know if you can distinctly categorize that as any specific man's face because because it looks like that drawing of the man that apparently everybody has seen in their dreams. And then by virtue of having seen that image on the internet, they will now start seeing that man in their dreams. What I'm saying is, is that this man's stamp face is going to haunt my nightmares from now on. That's kind of how the rules go. My mom uses ski goggles when she cuts onions. Ah, I've seen stuff like this. There's like specifically made goggles to make you not cry or tear up when you're chopping up onions and stuff. I certainly have no use for them because I hate onions, despise them with every fiber of my being. Yes, I am a six-year-old. The money pizza my grandfather made for me. Ooh, and it's got a bunch of coins as the pepperonis too, that's nice. WOOD-FIRED PIZZA! <laughs> it's funny, laugh. But um, I really want it to be that like if you pull out one dollar, all of the other dollars just like flip up like in some sort of chain reaction. And they just like origami into a completely different shape. I know it won't happen, but I can dream. This hotel's fancy style of stacking fruits in water. That water is gonna taste fruity as hell. Ah ha 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 That does look pretty cool though. It almost looks like, you know, the curves on a brain because funny this, if you didn't know, your brain is actually just one really long tube. Yep, that's right, it, I hate it. I think it's one really long tube. I may very well be completely wrong. This knight looks so insecure because both of his feet are turned in and he can barely hold on to his sword. What shop worker cursed him to this fate of being posted to a subreddit being called insecure? Also, look how short he is, dude. You're like, not helping this case at all. Just not nice. This pan has a thermochromic indicator to show if it is hot. Good to know. Very good to know. That actually seems really useful. I think it's more interesting though how like the pan in the left picture just looks like it's about to like blend in with the countertop. I don't like them being the same color at all. When my city repaired the sidewalks, they kept the rings previously used for tying horses up intact. And as people in the comments have noted, this is prime, prime real estate for people looking to just twist their ankles 360 degrees around. The water fountain repair guy left behind a tiny water fountain calling card. Hot and cold snowbird. I hope it's functional. If it's not functional, then he's a fraud and a scammer. My cat has little whiskers just below her eyes. Dude, you could have just posted a picture of a cat to this subreddit and I would have been totally down for that because cats are really cute. But like, yeah, he does have little tiny whiskers. They're like, you know, I can't make that joke, but, um, you know, they're like, uh, I can't, there's no way for me to make a clean version of this joke, so it just didn't happen, did it? This horse trailer had a dinosaur in it. Oh my god, I told my grandma that dinosaurs were still alive. She said that they were extinct, but look at this one being pulled in a horse carriage. Horse trailer, and a horse carriage, a horse trailer. If you think about it, a horse trailer is just a horse carriage, but backwards, where the human is pulling, um, the horse along in a, you know, its own special little thing. These pimples on my face happen to line up almost perfectly with my freckles. Play connect the dots on that and you can make a nice little tic-tac-toe board. Very useful. My mashed potatoes were dry, so I sculpted my dad sitting on the sofa. Okay, as far as mashed potato sculptures go, that is really good in like when we're talking about level of detail. Also, when you see that, hmm, my mashed potatoes are dry, you know what the first thing I think we're gonna do is? Sculpt something out of this. It's that kind of creative thinking that got us to the moon. Keyhole on the side door of the I can't pronounce that cathedral in France. See, that just looks like a gambling company's logo with how dope it is. Like, it, it even has like a little G, it's got the clover, it looks baller, I'm not gonna lie. But you know that secretly, whatever casino you're going into for that is actually just a front for, you know, the entrance to the underworld. Bought a used copy of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas and found an old movie ticket from the film's opening day in 1998 inside. That's pretty cool. The person who sold it to you probably might not have realized that they actually had such an important piece of memorabilia in there, but you know, whatever. 
The cruise ship I went on gave me a USB drive in the shape of the ship. See, that's kind of cool, but uh, thinking about the ship splitting in half is probably not the idea I'd want to put in my uh, passengers' minds when they're like, you know, just cruising along and all that. The host of this party has a tortilla blanket. See, the first thing that caught my eye was, God damn, this room is very big, and where that couch is lined up, there is no TV there. And then I saw the projector screen and realized how much of a fool I was, but either way, that tortilla blanket's pretty cool. The brand of coffee changes the design for decaffeinated coffee. Wide Awake Coffee Co. has the eyes wide open for like the full caffeine. And then Wide Awake Coffee Co. has like half eyelids for like, you know, less caffeine. Continental Gap in Ireland, Europe and North America, and then they just have the gap demonstrated right there. Pretty epic, and it's got the window. I feel like I'm going to fall into the earth. I'm terrified right now. A very aesthetically appealing onion. Okay, so I know earlier I said that I hate onions, and yes, I still am a six-year-old, but I'm gonna give this onion a pass for having such a fire haircut. Like, he's got a bowl cut, but he's also got the little top knot on his head. Like, I mean, I respect, but it feels like a mishmash of things that just weren't really meant to go together, but he rocked it somehow. I respect. The Henry Ford Museum in Detroit is home to the actual bus that Rosa Parks protested on. How do they keep track of, like, what specific bus it is that, uh, all of these historical events happened, like really specific artifacts of times that have since passed. Very cool that we have like little time capsules. I'm gonna walk inside of it. Three-legged cat that visits my house a lot. It is very cute. It's very cute. I want to hold it and pet it because it's cute. A cat is a cat that is cute. Who would have guessed? It's very cute and I think it's cute. My Adidas leggings imprinted on me. Congrats, you are now a walking piece of merchandise. It is now legal to sell people according to Adidas again. You have been, you have been marked as the chosen. <laughs> The brewery's lights are designed like hops. Oh, that's cool. I really like that design. I almost want to treat it like a pine cone, though, because it kind of looks like one, and then throw it at a small child on the playground. Yeah, I did that as a kid. I mean, I also did it last week, but that's unrelated. This plastic fried rice display, it just captures it mid-toss. I really, I do really like that. Demonstrates exactly how the pan's meant to be used. <laughs> do you think that was plastic or just like rice that's been encased in plastic? Like it's been forced to live out this moment for the rest of the time. Foggy Sky shows the augmented LED grow lights from a marijuana plant a few miles away. It looks like, this looks like an alternate version of Stranger Things. Either way, the world's ending from what you're seeing right now. Imagine having to explain to your kids that the light over there is a uh, marijuana plant. <laughs> My local body shop has one of the real Batmobiles and Penguin's Duck. Okay, that's bother. There is not a harder flex than what is going on in these images right here. I found a plant-based man-made acorn hanging in the middle of the woods. It, oh, it's a really- is it like just really, really big? Because it looks like they took individual pine cone heads to stick it on them. I do respect. It's pretty epic, pretty baller. This dentist's office has an N64 set up for kids to play. Oh, that's a relic of time past. I remember when the McDonald's would have like game console set up inside the restaurant and then there'd be like little... I remember playing like Spire of the Dragon on one of them. That was so tight. These Lego blocks I made out of jewelry resin. Okay, that's dope. I hope they actually work with normal Legos. Imagine making like a little Lego minifigure out of these things. Could you like have working and movable joints if you did? Probably not, but still, it looks pretty epic. Mildly interesting, you might say. My stepmom's chicken schnitzel looks like a chicken. Well, I mean, it's made out of chicken, so I sure hope it looks like a chicken. That's actually the soul of the chicken being condemned to the singular piece of the of its body that's been left over and cooked. Looks appetizing, I must say. The way my customer stacked her mussel shells. They got, like, the perfect angle on that, too, from, like, where the bowl lands. Do you think they designed it so that if you chuck it, it'll come back to you like a boomerang? That's the vibe I'm getting off of the shape of it. Pieces within this puzzle go together in any orientation. Oh boy, uh, poor Scooby missing his legs and then Freddy completely mishmashed together with Velma. Tragic. My office break room is styled like the inside of an airplane for some reason. Why spend the money on like the extra airplane seats? Like, cool I guess. But I mean, I've seen like a restaurant that was themed after an airplane and they had the inside of an old uh, decommissioned plane literally brought in and then they made those tables, which was pretty cool. But damn, I mean, weird choice for like a break room. The Airbnb that I'm staying in has a collection of rubber ducks in the bathroom wall. Are they like glued to the things that they're resting on? Or can you like take them off and then bring them in the bath with you? Definitely something to look at when you're taking a shit. These stacked wine bottles only supported by wine bottles. Okay, that these are probably have probably been there for literal decades considering how much dust they're collecting, but goddamn, they will be good as hell by the time they're done. If they will ever be done, truly. My dad's fingerprints from playing Sudoku. It's like perfectly gridded. He hits the same spot every time. Man's a precision master. 
He probably kills it at the game, to be fair. My great-grandma's cane had a blade in it. Okay, your grandma was definitely part of some secret assassin organization, and you probably should run or put that thing away before they try to indoctrinate you, or worse, kill you for coming across it without being worthy of holding it. The lamp my friend had 3D printed for me, and the pattern it makes on my ceiling when it's turned on. That's pretty cool. Reminds me of, like, my funny LED lights that I got recently. Turn my lights blue. Guys, I'm really cool because I have LED lights. Did you know I have LED lights? <laughs> Every sink in this bathroom has a different faucet. Okay, I hate this so much because it makes me feel like... I, it makes me feel like I'm choosing my class in a video game and that whatever choice I make is something that's going to affect me th for the rest of my playthrough or my life and I will go th through the entire thing feeling like I have chosen incorrectly. I saved the first disposable plastic bottle from this dispenser. Helped eliminate waste from one disposable plastic bottles. Heck yes, dog, doing your part. This urinal has a foot pedal for flushing. Okay, I mean, that's kind of convenient. At least I don't have to, you know, touch that nasty-ass handle. You know what? I feel like more bathrooms should adopt this style of thinking. Let me use my already nasty shoe instead of these hands uh, that will get more germs on it. Not epic. This picture was taken at 2 a.m. The lightning makes it appear as daytime. Holy, imagine looking up and it's completely bright outside, but it is a sunless sky. That is a terrifying feeling. Makes me feel so small and minuscule. Like, what happened to it? Where'd you go, bud? Come back, please. Dell representative gave us Dell cookies. Okay, the craftsmanship on that is pretty good, and it makes me want to eat one of them. An incredible marketing scheme, Dell, but I'm not falling for it. You know, unless you give me a cookie, then I will fall for it. My sister and I have both different colored eyes. Heterochromia. Always something cool to look at. This A4 piece of paper after being left out in the rain. What do you mean, A4 piece of paper? He's just one of the boys! He's one of the rocks now! Aha! My cousin still uses a double oven from the 1970s. Is that a safety hazard? If it's not, then, you know, the aesthetic is definitely worth it. But if it is, the aesthetic's still worth it. My house blowing up be damned. My dentist's business card is a really thin floss dispenser. Well, you know what they say. Floss. Floss until you, you're dead. Because, you know, floss. My cat's sleeping like the Firefox logo. Like I said, the cat is mildly interesting just by being cute. Any pictures of cats, I personally would accept on the subreddit. LEDs on router drain the color on my sticky note used to block its light. God damn. Science is weird. It scares me. There were no adverts in my tube carriage last night. That feels oddly empty. Like, ugh, it, this feels like something you'd see in, like, some dystopian video game, like a Mirror's Edge or some shit, where, like, everything is white and then a primary color haunting. Water damage to a photographic slide creates a cool effect. Yep, it's pretty cool. It looks like Limbo from that DMC reboot that nobody liked. I liked it though. A blue stop sign. It just blends in, it just blends in with the sky dog. It's dangerous. How am I going to know to stop if I don't see the stop sign? Anyways, that's all the time we have here today on Calbus. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and check back tomorrow as we upload Reddit content to the channel here daily. If you guys enjoyed this particular video on Mildly Interesting, be sure to click on the one that's on screen right now to get a little more of that, as we have uploaded those in the past, and one should be on the screen right now. Anyways, this has been Quite, and I will see you guys next time.